What's going on? It's Ed from my PPC training and today we're talking Edwards management. We're talking Edwards. Is Edwards dead? Hearing a lot of room rumblings and rumors and complaining on the internet that uh, Edwards is dead. It's too expensive. It doesn't work for doesn't work for me all that stuff and you know what to be honest with you I was one of those people that bought into that hype as well when I was out in the world selling uh, consulting services and SEO I believe that that AdWords was too expensive and that it was dead and that SEO and organic was the way to go and Facebook ads and this and that and so I'm just here to, to put those rumors to bed and walk you through some stuff so let's go into my computer and I want to talk a bit about my the first time I ever ran the AdWords campaign and the, the disgusting mess that happened. And I also want to walk you through uh, how we generate leads for ourselves with AdWords, as well as all of the, the client uh, campaigns that we're running. And just to show you that AdWords is in fact not dead. It's alive and well, thriving. And uh, after what we just witnessed the other day with uh, Mr. Zuck up on the hill, uh, I think uh, AdWords is going to have a bit of a resurgence. So come on into my computer and we'll go from there. See you in there. All right, and we're back. I'm back from lunch and my little walk, my, my post lunch walk. And we're back inside my computer and I'm gonna show you some examples of campaigns we're successfully running, uh, both for ourselves and for our clients. And I'm gonna show you tons of proof that AdWords actually does work. AdWords is not dead. AdWords is pretty awesome. And if I had a uh, limited budget and I was only able to do one or two tactics, AdWords would definitely be one of those tactics. So let's jump in. First things first, do we use AdWords ourselves? Do we do what we preach? And the answer is yes. This here is a campaign that we turn on and off throughout the year as we need uh, clients. This is one we turned on a couple weeks ago and pulled out eight leads, got two deals out of it. Uh, this is a very, very specific type of campaign looking for a specific type of client. And whenever we need one or two of them, we turn the campaign on, we get the clients, and then we turn it back off. It's that simple. We're, uh, we've got this campaign really dialed in. As you can see, our click-through rate's very, very high. Uh, our cost per lead is in range with what we're looking for. Our conversion rate is super high, almost 50%. So that means basically one out of two people that come to the page become a lead. So very effective campaign for us. So next thing I want to do is pop over into uh, our call rail account. This is actually just one of our call rail accounts. We've got several of them and we also uh, manage call rail accounts for a handful of our partners as well. So we specialize in white label pay-per-click, which means we are basically the engine behind a lot of other agencies and we do all of the, the nitty gritty work behind the scenes for them in terms of AdWords management. So this is just one of our uh, call rail accounts and call rail is a software that allows us to track AdWords calls. Uh, and if you are going to be doing AdWords, we highly suggest you use call tracking software because it makes the campaign that much more effective. Plus it records the calls, which is, which is a really effective tool as well for, especially for sales training. So let's go back here. Since this particular account has been open, we've generated almost 21,000 leads for our clients from just this one call rail campaign. We've got several others, 21,000 leads. You're telling me AdWords doesn't work or AdWords is dead. 21,000 leads. What would your business be like if you had 21,000 leads? What would your business be like if you had an extra 100 leads a month or an extra 50 leads a month? So that's what I want to dig into here, but just want to show you that this is real. This is what we do every day. This is how um, is how I make my living. This is how my partner makes his living. This is, this is real. So uh, let's pop into some campaigns. First one I showed you was the white label campaign. Next one I want to show you is a roofing campaign. This one is just getting started actually. Client spent about five grand and so far he has generated 104 leads, roughly 50 bucks a pop and roughly one out of three people that hit his landing page uh, become a lead for him. So three clicks, one lead. So you tell me, is that an effective system or what? I'd say it's pretty effective. All right, next is an ENT doctor. So this doctor has gotten 500 so let me let me back up real quick a, a conversion what you're seeing right here a conversion is a, a lead so either a phone call or a form submission form submission would be when someone puts in their contact information their name email phone a bit about their situation in this particular case they're having 
an ear issue or they're looking for a balloon sinoplasty surgery or they're looking for a nose job or they're looking for ear tubes for their for their child or whatever it is um, that's what a form submission would look like so conversion is a, a mixture of phone calls and uh, form subs with the majority being uh, phone calls so like 80 percent think 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 in terms of 80 20 majority of what you see in the way we run adwords campaigns is phone calls so um, 524 leads since we've been running this campaign for him. He's getting $20 leads in a, in a, in a high-end medical specialty niche. I'd, I'd imagine he's probably pretty happy. And if you look here, one out of four uh, people that hit his page become leads for him. So very, very strong conversion rate. Um, very happy with the campaign. The campaign is doing exactly what we want it to do. And uh, the client's very happy. All right, let's move on to the next one. This is a Stretch Limousine and Party Bus Company, and they specialize in um, nights in the town, proms, weddings, things like that. Now, this is not airport transportation. This is not a sedan taking a person to an airport. This is larger transaction values. This is, you know, $500, $1,000, $1,500. This is a wedding, prom, concerts, things like that, large vehicles. So in the last 30 days, we've gotten them 152 leads. His cost per lead is $30 per lead. Now, you might be saying, Ed, that's really high for a cost per lead in the limo industry. You are correct. However, this particular client only wants phone calls. He does not want any form submissions. So he's willing to pay a slightly higher cost per lead to not have to deal with any form submissions. He doesn't want to be chasing people down for leads. So uh, we push all phone calls for him. You get a slightly higher uh, cost per lead, but you get a, high, uh, a much higher quality lead. So it really... You know, would you rather pay for a cheaper lead and have to chase down leads to get to the good ones or pay slightly higher cost per lead and get a better lead? So uh, in this situation for this client, he wanted the higher uh, higher quality lead, so slightly higher cost. All right. Next is a divorce attorney. So this is a divorce attorney. Uh, this campaign is a couple months old and we've generated 400 leads for him. He's getting a cost per lead for under $50 per lead. And his page is converting at 40, roughly 42%. So basically, one out of two people that hit the page become a lead for him. Imagine if you were a divorce lawyer and one out of two people that hit your website became a lead, picked up the phone, called you, said, I need help. I'm getting a divorce. I need help. Call me. Or I need, you know, help me solve my problem. What would that look like for your business if that was the case? You know, I'm, people keep saying AdWords doesn't work, but the problem is, is they just don't know how to work AdWords. It doesn't work, of course. Of course, it doesn't work. If you're, if you're, you know, putting keywords in the wrong place and not structurally um, setting it up properly, it's a mess. It's like it, it'd be like me going to build a house. Of course, the house is going to fall over because I don't have a freaking clue what I'm doing. I don't know. I'm not an architect. I have no idea how to build a house. Same thing with AdWords. People think AdWords is a an easy set it and forget it type plat platform. They don't go in with a lot of knowledge on how to actually build and run and optimize campaigns. And things just can get away from you really quickly. Um, I'll tell you a quick story. The first time I ever ran an AdWords, Ed this is really embarrassing. The first time I ever ran an AdWords campaign for myself, uh, this is going back into 2000, ooh, I think maybe 2007-ish. Um, my father and I had started a limousine company together, uh, high-end uh, limousine service, uh, working in corporate transportation. Uh, so think like corporate road shows. Uh, CEOs, presidents of companies, celebrities, things like that. That's who that's who our market was, and I decided to run an AdWords campaign for it, and I blew through a thousand bucks so fast it wasn't even funny. It was almost startling how fast I blew through the thousand dollars, and um, it was just a mess. It was really ineffective, and I go back and I think about the mistakes I made then. I just didn't know what I was doing. I was picking the wrong keyword match types. I was making every every common mistake we see. Uh, in, in campaigns that we audit nowadays. Um, clients that come to us and ask for help, I was making all the same mistakes that they were making. And uh, unfortunately, that's how most people run AdWords. So yeah, got my ass absolutely handed to me the first time we ran AdWords. It was a mess. So really embarrassing. That actually scarred me. I didn't want to go back into AdWords for a long time after that. I, I was like, that's it. AdWords, AdWords is garbage. doesn't work. Sorry about that. Again, one take here. We're not going back. Um, I, I was like... Uh, AdWords is too expensive. It sucks. It doesn't work. I'm going all organic. SEO is the way to go. Facebook ads are the way to go. Direct mail marketing is the way to go. Uh, database marketing is the way to go. That was everything 
except AdWords. I, I believed in everything else but it because I started out with that initial thing, um, that that beating that I took initially. It was like it was like um, you know an abused child that that scar stays with him or her for for their entire life. This was the same thing, man. I just got abused by AdWords really quick too. They just fleeced us for their money, and it was my fault because I was. I was trying to ride a uh, a tricycle on a freeway, and I just got slaughtered real bad. So um, yeah, so I was always against it. Uh, fast forward a few years, um, I had an SEO client who was met, who had a, an AdWords campaign that was going about five to ten thousand dollars a month, and he was uh, thinking that the campaign wasn't running as good as it, it could be. So um, I I knew of a of a contractor, a PPC, an AdWords contractor that specialized in it, and I reached out and I said, "Hey, can you take a look at this campaign and see what you think, and just, you know, give me some feedback?" I did that, and uh, the recommendations he made, and he went on to manage the campaign for us. Uh, what he did with that campaign was absolutely astonishing. It blew me away. It floored me, and I said, "Holy crap! If you actually know what you're doing with AdWords, it could be the most special platform or special lead generation tool for your business." Um, that person, that contractor, ended up becoming my partner in business, uh, Rob, who I'm sure if you've watched any of our videos, uh, you know Rob well. And um, yeah, so now I'm I'm a convert. I'm a preacher of AdWords and its ability to really dramatically change your business. There's no more uh, there's no more perfect scalable lead generation system out there besides AdWords. I mean, where else could you go? Where uh, if you're looking for if you wanted to advertise, say, divorce attorney services. Where else would you want to be than someone in front of someone that's typing into Google, I need a divorce attorney? Where else would you want to be? Would you want to be advertising a Google, um, Facebook? Maybe. But I'd rather be in front of that market that's actually looking for help right then, right now. They need help, and AdWords allows you to put yourself right in front of them. So it's a beautiful platform if you know what you're doing. If you don't, it's a very dangerous platform because it will take your money so fast. It will take your money faster than... Las Vegas casinos take my money, and that's very fast. So, all right, a couple more, and then we're out of here. Uh, this is a campaign we have paused. This is a deck builder. Um, they are paused at the moment, but I wanted to show you uh, that it works in lots of different trades. So I just pulled this one open. 157 leads. He's getting leads for under uh, under 20 bucks per lead. Roughly one out of four people that visit the the page and actually click become a lead. So pretty powerful stuff. Uh, when you consider how much a, a deck build is worth, you know, you're looking at on the low end, a couple grand on the high end, it could be 10 or 20 or 30, $40,000, depending on the size and scope and interest, 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 I can't even talk right now, how complex the project is. Uh, so yeah, so next one. And last one is an employment lawyer. So this is an employment lawyer. This is a month worth of stats. The campaign is currently paused for the client. They got a bit overwhelmed. So we paused the campaign. And 129 leads in a month. Uh, cost per lead is $36 per month and roughly 38.28%. Uh, so basically one, um, one out of three people that hit the page actually become a lead. So this is for a, an attorney. Uh, let's say you got fired, wrongful, uh, wrongful termination from a job, or you were sexually harassed at a job. These are the types of attorneys you would call to help you fix uh, your situation. They'd help. Uh, receive uh, help help you work to recover damages or potentially get you back into the job or sue or whatever uh, whatever whatever the case may be um, so with the examples I, I showed you today I wanted to kind of give you a wide range of what's what's possible so I showed you some marketing companies successful using AdWords some attorneys successful using AdWords some blue-collar companies some roofers some some deck builders uh, some employment attorneys I showed you uh, a limousine company uh, AdWords flat out works. AdWords is the most beautiful lead generation platform that there is because you are putting your advertisement and your business directly in front of people that are looking for the solution that you offer. And that's it. So if you know how to do AdWords and you do it correctly, AdWords is awesome and it works and it still works. And it, it may be more expensive now than it was 15 years ago, sure, but so is everything else. So uh, just make sure you do your homework, you study, you become a student of the game, you learn AdWords, or you hire someone that is a specialist in it. Not a jack of all trades, but go with an AdWords specialist and you will do all right. So a couple things here in terms of housekeeping. Uh, below this video, there is a, a free ebook that we've put out with uh, hacks to help you fix your AdWords campaign. So if you're already advertising and you need some help and some quick optimizations help, 
download that guide. That will be very helpful for you. We also have a Facebook group where we go over tons of these strategies. Uh, this uh, YouTube channel has at this time about 70 videos covering everything from how to set up an AdWords account to uh, how to optimize account. You, uh, you name it, it's, it's, it's chock full of information and goodies for you. So be sure to subscribe to this channel. If you have any questions, any comments, any thoughts, drop them into the uh, comment section of this page. And I hope you enjoyed. Look forward to talking with you again. Have a great day and happy Thursday. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.